On social media, Baja Designs have been talking a huge game when it comes to the LP9. So in this video, we're going to put it to the test. So here we are, we are in the middle of nowhere. We're about to test the light outputs. Obviously that's gonna be your first question. What do they look like in the real world? We're gonna put this up against one of the reigning champions, the Dial Dynamics SS5, but we're gonna use the Sport version. Why the Sport? It's cheaper than the Pro. Well, in our tests, the Sport version of the Dial Dynamics was brighter than the Pro. So we're gonna see which one's brighter, but we're also gonna compare it to the LP6, the LP9's baby brother. And then, of course, we have to include the Morimoto Big Banger HXB. Let's see what these things look like powered up. Let's start with the Morimoto Big Banger, the combo beam pattern. As you can see, this illuminates down the road, but it also gives you that additional fill. This is a beam pattern that we have grown to love. Having two of these on your vehicle would be wild. This is one of the best outputs I've seen in the combo driving beam pattern. Now we've got one Morimoto Big Banger HXB spot beam powered up, and as you can see, that hot spot is intense. This is for if you're driving fast and you need to see as far down the road as possible, and as you can see, this thing delivers. You can see the tree line at the end of this shot. It is extremely bright. I don't see a lot of fill around this hot spot because all of that light output is centralized into the center. Now here is the Dial Dynamics SS5 in combo. As you can see, the light output is much more soft. I don't see the specific beam pattern, but that's not that bad because you do want something that's going to fill the area when you're driving around if you have the combo beam pattern. I think this light output is really good. From this light output shot, I really can't tell that it's that bright. This is what the Dial Dynamics SS5 spot looks like. Yes, you do have that centralized light output, but I couldn't help but notice I'm not getting as much light output when you compare this to the Morimoto spot beam pattern. You put these things side by side and it's not even really a competition. Sorry, Diode, I don't believe you win this round with the spot beam pattern. Now here's the Baja Designs LP6 combo. Right away, you're going to notice that there is so much illumination. The trees are lit up, the ground is lit up, not so much all the way down the road like I would like with a little bit of punch of light with a combo beam pattern. But at the end of the day, if you're putting these on your vehicle to go overlanding or you're in the woods at nighttime, you might want something like this that illuminates the entire area. I really enjoy all of the additional fill that Baja Designs packs into their off-road pod lights. Even on their spot beam pattern, the LP6 spot beam pattern, there is a lot of additional fill. You still got the width of light and that punch of light down the center. Now, I don't think it's that intense in comparison to say the Morimoto HXB. However, like I said, you do get additional fill. It's a unique beam pattern and I'm excited to see what the numbers look like on the wall in our studio next. Here's the LP9 with the combo beam pattern. This is essentially taking the light output of the LP6 and making it brighter. The beam pattern, in my opinion, is very usable. If I'm gonna slap these on my vehicle to go overlanding, this is it, this is what you need. You don't necessarily need a lot of supplemental light like new headlights and new fog lights to fill in the gaps. The entire area is illuminated with the LP9. Let's see what the spot beam pattern looks like. And here's the LP9 spot. Obviously, it's extremely intense. Remember, this is a really big pod light. You still got that fill, you see some trees. It's definitely not as wide of a light output as the combo beam pattern, but I do see the tree line far down the road. This is definitely a good option. It's just a little bit big, and I'm interested to see which one was brightest. So now you see what they look like outside in the real world, but how do they stack up to the competition when it comes to brightness or candela? If you want to see exactly how we got the numbers I'm about to show you guys, check the description below. It is all that nerdy mumble jumbo that I know you guys care about. Now obviously this is not the scientific laboratory, this is the Headlight Revolution's white wall. So we're about 10 meters from it and we're shining it there to show you guys what they look like. So let's see how these compare. This is the LP9 about 10 meters from the wall and we're going to be measuring the candela. The candela is the photometric intensity of the measured single solid angle. In English, that means that candela is essentially used to determine the overall brightness. 
When we measured the LP9 Pro Spot, I was blown away at 514,300 candela. Baja is no joke, this is extremely bright. But how does it compare to something like the Dial Dynamics SS5? We all know they've got a crazy cult-like following. The SS5 Sport Spot comes in at 400,100. So the LP9 in this case takes an absolute dump on Dial Dynamics. Now the Baja LP6 Spot came in at 276,000 candela. I know Baja looked at this and said, we can do better, and I think that's why they created the LP9. Now I've seen the comments on social media, how does it compare to the Morimoto HXB? Mind you guys, I wanna let you know the size difference does play a huge role here. It's way bigger than the Dow Dynamics SS5, and it's also way bigger than the Morimoto HXB. Here's the white spot beam pattern, and we measured 564,000 candela. So, even though the LP9 is massive, it's bigger than the Morimoto, the Morimoto spot beam pattern is more intense. I'm just spitting facts, don't kill me. Let's go on to the combo driving beam patterns. The LP6 combo came in at 203,100 candela, and it looks like this. The Baja LP9 combo, we measured 440,100 candela. When you got the Dial Dynamics SS5 Sport combo, they came in at 84,200 measured candela. The Morimoto HXB combo comes in at 210,000 candela. So final thoughts about the Baja Designs LP9. Is it the brightest in the world? Well, when it comes to the spot beam pattern, no. The Morimoto HXB spot beam pattern was more intense. It was brighter at the hot spot. Did it have more ambient light? Yes, it did. So if that's what you like, the LP9 is where it's at. The combo beam pattern, this wins, this definitely wins. Baja Designs came out swinging when it came to the LP9. If you wanna see more reviews like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also go to headlightrevolution.com, type in your year, make a bottle, and you'll see all the other products that we've tested.